Shalom, shalom, everyone. I hope you're having a blessed day. I wanted to just take a moment and share, if you've never been to this channel before, let me explain um, what this channel is about. It is dedicated to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are grace believers. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the ABCs of salvation is in the description box. Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. Believe on the Son of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Messiah. Always existed, left glory, laid down his glory, was born of a virgin, wrapped in flesh, lived a perfect life, shed his precious blood on the cross at Calvary to pay the debt for our sins once and for all. He died, was buried, conquered, held death in the grave, and on the third day rose from the dead. That's the gospel as outlined in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4. The nanosecond, you believe on him, you are saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption. John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Um, the ABCs of salvation, again, are in the description box, as well as a link to a video, faith plus nothing equals salvation and, et and eternal security. For those who may need to go check that out or you don't know what I'm talking about. This is also an alternative news channel. Now, here's where we're really having um, a course correction as the Holy Spirit really directed this. In this season, where so many things are happening at warp speed in the world, and they are, and we bring the geopolitical that ties to prophecy, we also, so I'm a grace preacher, we believe in the pre-tribulation rapture, we believe we're at the end of a dispensation, the dispensation of grace, we um, believe we're in the final moments of the end of days, and we believe that no one knows the day nor hour, and um and then we tie the geopolitical to the prophetic. That being said, what the Lord has really brought home to me is first of all, we need to be, it was a correction, and I'll tell you what, I confess this to God, that we need to do a better job of vetting out the news. Not that we're bringing you false news, but we want to make sure that we are bringing you 100% factual, accurate, and in a season when there's so much information out there, and there have been a couple times we've been wrong on this channel, and I've I've said that, and I apologize for that, and I've confessed that. No, that didn't save me nor keep me saved. I was saved the nanosecond. I believed on the Son of God. Amen. But we're human, and we're open to error. And But more importantly, not more importantly, equally, um, to that, bringing you factual information. We want to make sure that we don't get caught up in sensationalism. And, and really, that was a word the Lord gave me yesterday. And what do I mean by that? You know, I've, I've used this example when we're studying the Word. We always want to be renewed in our minds and washed in the purity of the truth of God's Word and everything based on the Word of God. And we've done our best to do that. And uh, without going into great detail of how we continue to do that, I teach that in sermons. I just want to give you kind of an outline of where we are and where we're going. I will continue to preach the gospel. That, that's the priority, our focus on Jesus. Um, it's glorious, brothers and sisters, the reports that we're hearing that millions are getting saved in this time. The Bible says what is meant for evil, God will use for good in the lives of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. This is being used in a mighty way. People are getting saved. One brother I talked to called it a revival. Another called it... Um, an awakening. You know, the difference is really a revival really addresses revive us, the church, the existing 
believers, we're already saved. An awakening is an awakening to God. And that's that's what I really like to use the term. I believe we're seeing an awakening to God based on the reports that are coming in. So we'll continue to bring you the news. Now, how are you going to know? It will have, I'm going to use that photo that I use. Typically, it will have breaking news. Um, in light, there's so much going on. There will be more of those probably per day. I've often said this. I've joined you to join along in my day. No glory to me, all the glory to God. Um, I'm not the most technical person, as you can tell. When you see buffering, when you see things like that, but God has been good to us, amen? We just recently had an issue with um, buffering and wow, when we started doing... You guys know who are who have watched the sermons. Every Sunday morning, the sermon goes up. God is faithful. Um, he's faithful, and we give him all the glory. So I'm learning. I'm being stretched with the technology. Praise God. And um, so the geo... In the news, you'll be seeing that picture of breaking news. Those videos, some of you have already noticed, wow, they're shorter. They're shorter because I'm bringing the facts. You guys already know what we talk about. Um, we know the prophecies. There are videos that I do that then I bring that all together before the news. And I know some have reported, I don't agree with this, but I like when you just give the facts. And I want to be really cautious that we not get caught up into sensationalism. And because for some people, that becomes the overwhelming focus. And um, we, want to, we want to be informed. Amen. We're going to keep bringing the news. But also, I see some of the comments. I don't always get to do that that create fear. And fear is the opposite of faith. In fact, you're going to, I believe the message and all the glory to God that he is giving, he's giving, I'm not doing it. It's from his word that he is giving is in season and will be um, premiered for Sunday. I'm still praying on that. I'm going to be spending a lot of time today and tomorrow in prayer over that. So we will continue to bring the news. The good news is we're going to continue bringing the news. They'll be in shorter bites and they'll be fact-based only. And I think I've described why. Because when we, and of course we're excited that one day the Lord is going to return. Absolutely we are. And please, I am not bashing anyone every time I do a video that, gives what the Lord's showing me. Someone thinks I'm talking about them. I'm not, this is not about anyone else. This is where the Lord is directing me. And I want to be on, in obedience to what Holy Spirit is directing. So we will continue to bring the news. You'll probably see more of them because they're, things are coming out all the time and we want to know what's going on. Just like yesterday when that correction happened, the Lord gave me and I brought that video that and several of you commented that you were really blessed by that and again all the glory to God it was just here's the facts and um, and then we'll tie it to prophecy obviously so the gospel the news and then there I'm doing Bible readings Right now, we're in Acts. We've read through Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. Now, I listen, you might have, you may not, you may not be drawn to the Bible reading that I'm doing, and that's okay. L listen, some of you prefer the news, and you come to see the news. Well, you're going to be able to tell what that is. You're going to see the breaking news icon. I'm going to keep it to that. Um, the studies that we're doing, we're going to keep doing Bible studies. Right now, we're in Revelation. And I know, listen, it's not about the views, honestly. We're going to keep doing that. I know that not as many people are are following those. It's okay. It's not, There is no qualifier that way. That's what the Lord has directed. And so today, time permitting, I'll be doing um, their shorter bites. But I'm going to be in Revelation 3 and dealing with 
Laodicea and the Bible reading. And a couple people have told me that they actually turn it on in the evening when they're getting ready to retire. And some have even said they fall asleep and that's okay. They go back and listen to it, but they said they really enjoy that. They want to, they get their prayers done in their own study and then they want to hear the words. Some people are listening to it as they're getting ready in the morning. And others have told me while they're driving in the car, they're listening to the word. I am simply in those videos reading the word of God. I'm not teaching. I'm just reading the word of God. The teaching right now is on Revelation. Right now in the reading of the word of God, probably tonight, I'll be back to that. We're in Acts. I think we're going to finish up Acts. Right? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. Then we go to Romans. Again, I'll simply be reading. And I typically read from the King James Version. Um, that's just my go-to version, but that does not negate other versions. And you can follow in those. So we have the study in Revelation. We have um, the reading of the word. We're going to continue bringing the gospel and the news. So you'll be seeing more news, fact-based, and we're doing a better job. We're really vetting out. In fact, um, I had several intel sources. I've limited down to as far as intel sources to the two that have never been in that we've never had to question or been in error. So we've done that. I just wanted to share that with you from my heart because we are people of faith and we are not people that fear. And I also want to say this, we've taught on our identity in Christ. We don't have to wait till the rapture or till we die uh, to know who we are in Christ and our benefits as children of God, heirs of God and co-heirs with Jesus Christ. So there'll be more teaching coming on that. I hope that blesses you. Um, I just wanted to bring some clarification. I know I'm already getting questions. Hey, that was different. Some liked it. Some said, but what about this? Again, I've, I've already explained what we're doing. This is how the Lord is directing. The Lord has directed me. Um, this is all to his glory. Seriously, this is to his glory. And I want to let you all know, this is not, this is not just this isn't about Tim Henderson or about any one of you. This is, we're extolling the name of Jesus. And there are many hands that are going into making this happen. Kathy Hall, shout out to Sister Kathy. Kathy takes emails and vets them. Um, she also does the prayer list so that we can pray over that and praise. We have Isaiah is also emails come to Isaiah and he vets. I can't think sealed by the blood. Um, Trish, Rosemary. Oh, I know I'm going to be forgetting some people. I'm sorry, guys. Tara, off the top of my head, trying to remember everyone. But we have moderators who assist. And then we have Travis and Rachel Rishi who I do not do this, but it's Pastor Tim's channel family on Facebook, a place where you can fellowship and they do a fantastic job. Oh, and Travis and Rachel are moderators as well. So we are really blessed. Um, Lisa Boyce, Greg Jackson, we are really blessed. I think I got, I don't know if I got everyone, but we are really blessed. Then we have those of you who pray and support and we're just really blessed. So I just wanted to give you all a shout out and tell you we are in this together. And then there are some of you who may never ever comment, but you know what? You pray and that is vital. Your intercessors, your prayers, we're in this together. And of all the people on the planet, we, the believers, the body of Christ should be the most joyful people on the planet. So that's where the Lord's leading. In other words, you're going to continue to get the gospel. You're going to continue getting the sermons on Sunday. You're going to continue getting the Bible teaching, the Bible studies, the reading of the word and the news, probably more frequently. But we're going to make sure that we are, there's extra vetting now put in place because there's so much coming and we do not want to cause confusion. And we're going to be very careful not to get caught up into sensationalism because when we do, 
We don't want to get into our senses. We want to be led by the Spirit. We want it to be factual, and we want it to be word-based when it comes to the geopolitical that ties to prophetic. So I want to give you his blessing before I let you go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May his countenance be lifted on you and his shalom, his peace, perfect, whole, complete, nothing lacking, nothing missing, be yours in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Messiah. I pray and I bless you. Shalom, shalom, and have an awesome rest of your day.